Hi guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. chika sa inyo, no? So, um, ito na naman tayo sa so, so, so. Naisipan ko na mag-tackle na lang about this kasi parang connected lang din naman siya sa mga business videos ko, no? Ah, uh, yung topic ko is how to deal with competitors in the business, in the small scale businesses. I mean, we're just on the small scale startups, we are on the startups category versus ng mga nakastablished na na mga burger chains. So this is very timely kasi kahapon lang may nag-open na bagong burger chain, burger chain, burger station, burger chain dito sa lugar namin which is which is one of our competitors. You know what, guys? Eight months na pala yung business namin na fast na snack bar. Tapos um, after three months ng business namin, may nag may competitor na kami na. By the way, pala guys, uh, we offer burgers, fries, shakes, fraps, shomai, halo halo, and future products. And then, uh, three months pa lang kami, guys. Meron na kaming competitor na they offer shakes. But, uh, we are in the same category na shakes. Pero, they offer, yung products nila is, it is made from fresh. Which is different from ours. Kasi, we are powdered-based shakes. Hindi yung fresh fruits na shakes. Kasi, it takes a lot of, parang ma medyo magasto siya kasi yung powder mas store mo siya eh, like 2 to 3 months pero yung fresh ingredients malalanta siya guys imagine pag hindi mabenta yung mango within the range of 3 to 4 days ano na so parang makakapag depreciate siya sa yung gastos mo di ba so mga tapos lang itakaw to no na how to deal with competitors in the business field or in a small scale business. So yun na nga, in the 3 months meron na sila. So parang when you have competitors kasi medyo makukumpare mo kasi yung sales for the past 3 months na. Ah, siguro kasi kaka-open lang din namin. So parang okay talaga ang sales. Pero when you have competitors kasi meron ang ma-deduct or ma-minus or there is really a certain percentage na percentage na mamamayin sa ano mo kasi parang bibili sila sa'yo pero since may naka-open na rin na iba so they have the option to buy of course kasi may mga tao din naman kahit na ako gusto ko rin naman na uminom ng fresh shake fresh from the fruits ganon so after 3 months so yun na nga medyo na minusan na yung sales namin which is dapat sana para sa amin pero since we have a competitor so ganon then, now, we are already 8 months last November 8th. I don't know if kaya nito ma-upload. So, last November 8th na ano, November 8th kami na nag-8 months. So, kahapon lang, November 10, meron nag-open na isang burger station, burger chain dito sa amin. Which is, so yun na nga, we compete on the burger side, they offer burgers, hot dogs, which we have the same, but we don't have pot long, but they do have, they also have shopa and other drinks. So, isa na naman siya sa competitor namin na parang makapag-minus na din sa sales namin instead na sa amin sila bibili. So, sa kanila lang kasi they offer, ano eh, they offer lower priced products. Like, for example, sa buy one take one namin. Ang buy one take one namin is 39 because that that's how we priced based on our costing kasi meron namang mga ingredients sa burger nila na wala sa burger namin or mga ingredients sa burger namin na wala sa burger na. Example for the sauce yung burger sauce namin is merong mayo so sa kanila is they just have ketchup so for example like that pero hindi ko pa natikman yung burger nila ha ketchup. so that's why yung buy one take one nila is lesser compared to our price kasi hindi naman kami makaka-down to that 
surprise kasi nga sa kanila they're a franchise kasi yun eh so they have been on the market for quite a long time na ilang years na ba I don't know yet so parang ganun um they are what do you call this um Basta parang plaster na kasi sila. They have been on the business for quite long time na. So, and tsaka franchise lang din sila. So, parang ganun. And then, basta meron talagang certain difference in, ano, like example for our buns. Hindi kami magkasing lucky or magkasing nipis ng buns. So, ganun. Pati pa kasi namin, mas mab kasi sila since they're a burger chain. So, meron, they can produce their own pati. Well, we will outsource our patties. Hindi naman kasi... Ano, like, kami lang gumawa ng pati namin, di ba? Ito lang. Ito na ang mga steps and how to deal with the competitors. First is, you know, when you have competitors, parang ma-alarm ka rin na or ma-, ma yun nga, ma-alarm ka kasi, oh, may competitor na naman, malasin yung sales namin, ganun. But, I do have friends or relatives in the same business category and they said to me that, First, competitors, of course, normal, no? Kasi, ganun na talaga, is business, ganun, di ba? Yung mga karinderya nga, kahit ano lang sila, um, dikit-dikit, mayroong mga karinderya or mga tindahan. So, ganun talaga, wala kang talaga magagawa doon. There will always be a competitor. So, that first, parang accept mo na lang, there is a competitor. Second, one of my friend told me also in the same business that, uh, it is their freedom naman. We all have this is a democratic country. All have freedom na mag-business ng kung anong gusto natin. So, they have always the, f the freedom to build their own business or to franchise. Or so, wala ka talaga magawa dun. Third one is, you offer naman different services. Though, meron kayong pagka the same, but nasa tao naman din yun kung saan sila bibili, diba? So, ganun. Hindi natin pigyan ng tao na they will they would always try it. So, at least ganun. Then, the fourth one is, like, ito ang pinaka na ano talaga sa mind ko na na before, parang bothered ako if there is competition, but now, this is, ano, yung parang naset talaga sa mind ko na uh, Jack Ma says that don't focus on the competition. Rather, focus on your customer. Okay, if you focus on your customers, like, gandahan mo yung service mo, mag-thank you ka while, while they, after they buy, uh, ano pa ba, like, you can build a owner and customer relationship, relationship kasi. So, pag maganda yung service mo, masarap ang products mo, so, win-win na yun, di ba? It's one way really to to be, uh, to deal with competitors. At saka guys, um, lastly, kasi nagre-research talaga ako, uh, during the time that I engaged to this, to the business, hindi rin naman ako kasi naging pabaya. I have been researching, reading articles, uh, asking also for my friends or my relatives na nandito sa same business na Ganun, ganun, ganun. So, parang nakaka-ease din siya. It eases my, ano naman, worries na, ay, oo nga, talagang ganun talaga. No? So, parang patibayan na rin ang loob na, ano, basta ako, as long as uh, my service is good, my products is fine, parang it's good to go. It's win-win for me. And then, parang ganun talaga eh. Sabi nga ng iba na parang hindi ka mag-grow pag walang competition. Kasi parang you put more effort into your service or into your product kasi. So, competition is good. It makes you worry sometimes but totally overall, it's really good for the business. Good for the economy. And then, it helps you grow not just personally but economically, business-wise. So, ganun, guys. So, it's just, ano lang na, ano, mga simple ways on how to deal with competitors in the business, small-scale businesses. So, yun ang mga personal yun na ideas ko, guys. I mean, personal experience. So, so, yun lang, guys. 
kayo guys, ano ba ang mga kayo sa mga mayroong business dyan? Like, yung sa mga nasa small scale lang, like, like us, or mga startup business lang. Please share your ideas below kung how, paano po nyo dinil na deal ang competition kasi in the food industry wide kasi yung competition no? so uh, um, I would appreciate it much if you can also share your experiences because as a startup I would always want to learn I'm craving for learnings on how to improve and how to deal and how to do things kasi hindi naman lahat na experience ko so Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, kung bago po kayo sa channel namin, don't forget to subscribe in the subscribe button below. And see you on my next one. Don't forget to like this video. Bye, guys.